our brain is a fascinating organ. A change in its functioning can yield distorted perception of reality. Let's take a look at a case reported in 2013 of a 39-year-old whose visual perception temporarily changed in a dramatic way. One day, the patient of this case developed an unfamiliar and lasting headache. Although initially powering through and continuing with his usual activities, he experienced a weird phenomenon on the third or fourth day. Trying to relax, he sat in the bathtub with the shower stream massaging his head. Nothing was out of the ordinary. But after about 10 minutes, he noticed a change in his perception. It all started by a general feeling of weakness as if he wasn't able to stand up. When looking up at the shower head, time seemed to slow down. The water stream coming from the shower head was no longer a stream, rather a slow moving of individual droplets. It was as if time had gone into extreme slow motion without ever coming to a standstill. The perception of the droplets was the same as in the famous scene of The Matrix where the protagonist Neo dodges multiple bullets. Well, it was almost like that, but without the special effects, so there were no trails behind each individual droplet. Whereas the onset of the event was recalled well, how it ended is lost in a blurry memory. Although the patient reported not to have lost consciousness, no clear description was made on how the world around them speeded up again. The inability to perceive movement normally is called a kinetopsia. This condition is rare and can present in different ways. In the most typical cases, patients cannot perceive motion at all and perceive the world as a series of still images. A patient from another case study reported being unable to fill a cup of coffee as the liquid appeared frozen. As such, the matrix-like shower experience perceived by the present case study is quite remarkable. In the literature, it is often described as the Zeitraffer phenomenon. This is a German expression that loosely translates to time-lapse phenomenon, since cases have also been reported where motion was perceived as being faster. Although the patient felt better the day after, this astonishing situation led physicians to perform a CT and MRI scan. Both scans showed a large bleeding or hematoma in the right temporal cortex of the brain. Despite the extent of the bleeding, it was determined that no immediate action was necessary. A month later, the patient received surgery where a clip was placed to narrow a widened artery. Following the surgery, the patient's life went back to normal at least for the most part. Several months after the incident, the patient reported occasional mild seizures. These were easily tamed with anti-epileptic medication. However, both his wife and himself observed another small but noticeable side effect. The patient experienced a change in his personality. He had become more outgoing and more talkative. Since he was very quiet and closed off before the incident, both himself and his wife experienced this change as favorable. So all in all, as weird as it may seem, this incident was largely a positive thing. This case is quite extraordinary. Not only because the side raffer phenomenon is a rare occurrence of the already rare disorder akinetopsia, but also because the location of the bleeding seems to be in the wrong location. 
The temporal cortex has a variety of functions, including the processing of hearing, language production, memory, and our understanding of concepts. In the right hemisphere, which was affected in our patient, the temporal lobe is also involved in spatial processing as well as perception of music and rhythm. However, interestingly, the temporal lobe is not related to vision of motion, at least not primarily, nor is it directly linked to inhibited or uninhibited personalities. Yet, these were the symptoms the patient experienced. How can this be? In the visual cortex at the back of the head, we find the region called V5. The predominant function of this region is to process visual motion. Undoubtedly then, when the patient experienced this slow motion perception in the shower, something wrong must have happened in the V5. Yet, region V5 is in the visual cortex and not in the temporal cortex. So, the region that was most likely disrupted was not affected directly by the hematoma. This seeming paradox can be explained by the phenomenon called diaskesis. Diaskesis refers to a change in function of a brain region that is not caused by the region itself being directly damaged. Rather, it is caused by a distant brain region with connections to the present region experiencing disruption. Thus, the bleeding presumably affected regions in the temporal cortex that have connections to the V5 visual motion area. Specifically, the authors of this case study suggested that the temporal lobe bleeding induced seizure-like activity in the V5. So, what about the change in his personality? Well, it is well established that the temporal cortex has a multitude of connections to the neighboring limbic system. This limbic system is crucial for certain perceptions, memory, and most importantly, emotions. Indeed, a wealth of studies have shown that emotion regulation is related to traits of personality and inhibition. Because some parts of the limbic system are considered being part of the temporal cortex, the hematoma may have had a direct effect on this network. Alternatively, if the limbic system was not directly affected, the phenomenon of diaskesis may also explain the change in personality. So, just like Neo who took the red pill, the brain of this person went into the matrix and came out as a different person. We hope you enjoyed this extraordinary brain and we hope to see you in the next video.